It's the New Year's resolutions. And then, you know, by January 20th, we're all eating, you know, Christmas cookies that we froze because we were never going to eat them again. Or we're stopped going to the gym. Not with this one. We're going to go ahead and make you look at it and check in all of the time. So you're now sitting here watching this thinking, gosh, it's coming to the end of the year. We need to start our business plan for next year. Or you're running around like crazy trying to end your business plan for the current year. But I want to give you our best strategies on how to go ahead and sit down and write your insurance agency business plan. Now, the first thing is if you're thinking, oh, I don't need that. Wrong. Eh, Not true. You definitely, definitely need it. You need it more than anything because your people are your biggest line item and expense. And what that means is if we don't give them a roadmap of what we need to focus on, we're burning resources. And that's silly. Also, you need to know how to evaluate success. Now, for some people, building a business plan feels like it's handcuffs. It's not. It can change. It can adapt. But if you're having that feeling right now, that's exactly why you need a business plan is because you're flying by the seat of your pants. You're not you being a good steward of your resources, one of them being time. So some best practices that we have. And by the way, agencies of all sizes can do this. It doesn't matter if you started your agency this year or you've got a billion dollars of written premium. I can guarantee you everybody should do it. The first thing is identify literally how can I make this happen? For some of you, you're going to want a time block and put a couple hours in every week and try to get there. For others of you, you might need to go and work from your home office or my personal favorite, I tell people this all the time, I get so much done in a hotel room by myself, it's ridiculous. Like it is my productivity chamber. There's just DoorDash, a desk. I can take a break and take a little walk outside if I need to, but at the end of the day, there's no puppy distractions, dirty dishes, people who need me, shut it down. You could maybe take a weekend retreat, grab an Airbnb or grab a buddy right? And then say, let's do this together. However you want to do it, you have to identify the first step, which is how. The second step is what goes into a plan. I know we just started doing this a couple years ago, and it was so daunting looking at this blank white piece of paper say, what do I want to do? So what we did is we built actually a workbook that we use, and we're giving it to you to build your plan so you don't have to. We always start by evaluating where are we right now? You can't build a plan without being honest about where you are. And we have you pull some data and metrics and look at it. Then we need to get team feedback. Then we have to actually figure out what do I want next year, which I know sounds crazy, but what you want is actually a really hard question. Then we have to identify, you know, we know what, how do we get there? Is it rational? Is it reasonable? Do we have the tools and resources? Do we need to cut back? Is it too much? Is it too little? Then we talk about writing it all down, rolling it out to your team, because that's the most important part. You want excitement and enthusiasm and things that really make everybody excited at the end of the day. Then the final step is, how do you hold it on track next year? This is the one that everybody falls off on, right? It's the New Year's resolutions. And then, you know, by January 20th, we're all eating, you know, Christmas cookies that we froze because we were never going to eat them again. Or we're stopped going to the gym. Not with this one. We're going to go ahead and make you look at it and check in all of the time. So one of the things that we think is really cool is the way that we've set this up to be successful. So if you've struggled with creating your plan, get our planning workbook. You can't go wrong. And by the way, if you're watching this video and YouTube in July, you can start your plan this year. It doesn't matter how long you have. You're just going to tailor your timeframes. But there is no time like the present. And there is no better way to grow your agency to serve you than to actually have a written plan. So check out our strategic planning workbook. You can't go wrong. We update it every year because we learn new tips and tricks and, and widgets. And we can't wait to welcome you as a new student and get our workbook. Thanks so much.